this up. You guys, it's your boy, Johnson. So in this video, I'm gonna go over these questions. How is a currency worth something? What is Bitcoin? How does Bitcoin work? What are Bitcoin miners? Why do they mine Bitcoin? And last but not least, how is Bitcoin worth something? Oh, fuck! Oh, this is always such a bad idea. Fuck! Now congratulations to this guy! You just won 5,000 ISKR in Bitcoin. I'll help you with the Bitcoin world and thing. Just we'll stay in touch. Now let's talk about Bitcoin! Woo! Yeah, not gonna break anything this time. Now to begin with, how is currency worth something? What made currency worth something in the first place was gold. For example, $20 could be traded for an ounce of gold. But in 1933, the gold standard for this thing was abandoned. Since then, the thing that makes currency worth something it's just that this is a dollar and this is 500 ISKR that is worth, well, yeah, we all just pretend it's worth something. That's literally what makes it a currency. I'm not even kidding. Now, what is this Bitcoin? Bitcoin was created in 2009 by a person under the codename Satoshi Nakamoto. And it's a cryptocurrency, which means digital currency or internet money. Crypto means it's encrypted in a way that prevents it from being copied. The three most important things about Bitcoin is that it's decentralized, anonymous and a limited resource. Decentralized means it isn't controlled by a bank or institution. It's anonymous because the transactions are encrypted. Basically just strings of numbers. In total there can only be made 21 million bitcoins, which makes it a limited resource. Now as I speak, there have been made 16.7 million bitcoins already. Now I know that number sounds pretty close to 21, but I'll explain why that isn't a problem and also why the limited resource thing isn't the problem. But I'll do that later in the video. How does bitcoin work? Bitcoin relies on blockchain technology, which means every bitcoin transaction is recorded using a blockchain. So yeah, blockchain needs a better explanation. Imagine you're playing a game of poker with some pals, but none of you have poker chips and you left your cash at home. There's no money on the table, so a few of you get out some notebooks and start writing down who bets how much, who wins and who loses. You don't completely trust anyone else, so everyone keeps their ledgers separately. At the end of every hand, you all compare what you've written down. That way, if someone makes a mistake or tries to cheat and snag some extra money for themselves, that discrepancy is caught. After a couple of hands, you might fill up a page of your notebook with notes about the money movement. You can think of each page as a block of transactions. Eventually, your notebook will have pages and pages of information, a chain of those blocks. Hence, blockchain. So this chain of blocks acts like a ledger, which is basically a log or a receipt. The ledger is encoded onto the Bitcoin itself, like when you get the receipt for the things you buy. This prevents people from spending the same Bitcoin more than once. But the internet isn't perfect, so connection errors and, and network de delays sometimes happen. Like when your game lags or, or your video isn't loading. But if that happens to the blockchain, the receipt, people all over the world will have different copies. That sparks a huge problem. To tackle these problems, there are problem solvers. I introduce Bitcoin miners. What? are Bitcoin miners. Miners run a program on their computers that solve these problems. Math problems. Bitcoin mining programs solve math problems created by SHA-256, which stands for Secure Hash Algorithm 256-bit. This algorithm was originally developed by the United States National Security Agency. 
or NSA. So in basics, this algorithm gives the mining programs math problems, which the program literally has to guess the answer to. A bit like guessing someone's password, except instead of solving something like question mark equals two, which is pretty easy to solve, the program is solving something like question mark equals yeah, I'm not even gonna start spelling that out loud. Solving this problem takes a computer billions and billions of guesses. So the programs are literally guessing the answer. On average, it takes a computer 10 minutes to solve each problem. The computer that wins the race of guessing the right answer gets to add the next receipt to the big receipt aka gets to add the next block to the blockchain. If multiple people make blocks at the same time, the network picks one to keep building upon, which becomes the longest and most trusted chain. And the people that mine Bitcoin spend tons and tons of money on special computers, specially built to solve these problems. But why? Bitcoin has a special system to reward the miners for maintaining the receipt, the blockchain, and keeping it safe. So every single time a miner wins the race to solve a problem, he gets paid 12.5 Bitcoins. But before I jump to the next question, I want you to know Bitcoin mining is way harder and requires a way better computer today than it did when Bitcoin first started. So miners today join a cloud mining service that allows miners to work together and when one guesses the right answer to a new block, they all split the profit. But how is Bitcoin worth something? Now Bitcoin actually bases its value in the energy computers use to mine it. Not like this imaginary piece of... Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's just keep pretending. <laughs> like I said earlier, the limit of Bitcoins that it can actually be created is 21 million. But where the supply and demand thing comes in, and the reason Bitcoin mining computers always have to get better and better at what they're doing, is that each 21,000 blocks created on the blockchain, the amount of Bitcoins rewarded for solving each math problem is split in half. So when Bitcoin was created, the reward for solving its problem was 50, then it was cut in half, 25, now it's 12.5, yeah, you, you get it. Now this cutting in half is called 2x fork for some reason. Now today, there have been two of these so-called 2x forks. So even though you have a really good computer, you'll still join a network of miners that try to solve the problems and eventually solve it and split the profit like I said before. Now here are the other reasons why Bitcoin is valuable. How accessible or useful it is. Perception on its value by the public. Which basically means the more people and media talk about it in a positive or negative manner changes the value. Now the other things are actually price of Bitcoin and then yeah the media, investors, scams like if you see one of these you're like what is this bitcoin crap then market delusions like if someone says like yeah bitcoin is gonna go up and then you go and oh buy and and then you find out he was lying or something like that and then innovation and and confidence in the traditional system and legal and government issues and the legal and government issues are actually really important because it's very new that for example i think china allowed trading of bitcoin like legal trading of bitcoin which really changes its value and then there is like you know there are internet stores that are starting to allow bitcoin and and many other it's basically being incorporated in a lot of things so that's why it's actually the value is i don't know I really doubt it's gonna drop like a massive amount. It's gonna correct, but it's not gonna drop like to a zero. That just doesn't make sense. 
I think you can buy things on Amazon with Bitcoin soon and there are ATMs for Bitcoin and you get what I'm saying. It's just Bitcoin is a thing and it's not going anywhere and that's awesome in my opinion. So that was Bitcoin and let's jump into the outro. Now for this video skill away it's gonna be like this. I give you 5,000 in whatever cryptocurrency you want as long as you have the bell on. Comment down below what you think of cryptocurrencies in general. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's always nice to see your beautiful faces while I'm doing these videos for you. I really appreciate you watching my videos. I hope you guys are having an awesome day, week in life. K keep crushing it and I see you guys later. Peace out. And I'm out. No, wait. I'm gonna wait here until you subscribe and... Solving... Sorbing... Sorb... <laughs> they all split the frog. Now, Bitcoin actually bases its value in the energy it takes computer to mine it. Oh god. Ripping money is actually illegal. Holy sh... Fuck! <laughs> Am I too white? Am I? Yes, I'm too white. I am too white for the outro.